want to let you know it is my distinct pleasure to join you in this ceremony of great importance. To join you in this historic moment when we honor a true and honorable son of the soil. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the organizers of this event for extending that invitation for me to speak and to be able to welcome you on what almost does not feel like a new venue. It feels like a part of legacy of Barbados because I've been here and you've been here many times before. And this has now become a pinnacle location in the history of Barbados. I also want to thank each and every one of you attending here this afternoon. Those who would have lined the streets of Fairchild Street and those sitting in the audience this afternoon for being here to witness this occasion. The Spiritual Baptist Church has been present in the Caribbean from about the late 19th century, early 20th century. Its origins firmly rooted in Africa and it was able to traverse its way here to our island, the Republic of Barbados. This church has also been a constant supporter of our crop over events, not only blessing the last delivery of the cans, but also, I don't know if many of you knew this, had the largest food stall, Cuckoo Village, selling local dishes. I see many heads are nodding. Many people have some good cuckoo and flying fish from that stall. This archbishop also made a contribution to cultural development as a member of the National Cultural Foundation. This church has actively participated in the National Independence Festival for Creative Arts, better known to us as NIFCA, singing many African Caribbean and African songs. Born in Barbados and having lived for 16 years in Trinidad and Tobago, where he witnessed the local spiritual Baptist movement, Williams had a vision to return to Barbados and fulfill that vision here in Mount Our Shores. Historically, Archbishop Granville Williams is responsible for the establishment of the first spiritual Baptist church in Barbados. This established a black-oriented, black-themed church as an example of Williams' exercise to empower black people and to empower us with visionary leadership with his volunteerism. The church would eventually evolve into a huge spiritual movement engaging African styles of worship involving hand clapping, rhythmic movement, singing, dancing, intense praying, and community participation and awareness. As patriarch of the Sons of God Apostolic Church, Archbishop Grenville Williams has impacted greatly on many various aspects of Barbados. Indeed, he has made his contribution to this country in many different ways over the decades of his life. Whether it be true community building, we are all aware of his efforts. Spiritual commitment, we are also aware of that. And participation and being a role model for the elderly in latter stages of life, if many of you did not know that part. This charismatic leader was committed to the empowerment of all Barbadians and believed in the upliftment or the elevation of black pride, black identity. It was central to the open practices of the Christian faith. Hence, he was a statesman in his own right attracting all types of worshipers with his preaching of black African pride and empowerment of people of African descent. This resonated as he encouraged unity and upliftment of the social status of generations to come. We here, many of us here are products of that very legacy. Such was the man that even before the recognition of the Black History Month, known popularly across Barbados now, in several schools in Barbados, he implemented several exhibitions on the history of Africa to educate the wider community and empower them with his many attributes. And I, I do believe he deserves a round of applause for that. When these things were not popular at all, at all, at all. And I would like to say these attributes align with my ministry in the Ministry of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs. So I am proud to be associated with the manner of the man. His visionary leadership is undeniable and his commitment of his entire life to the community spirit, fostering the young and old in well-conducted weekend nighttime services in public spaces right here in the city, next to the same Fairchild Street bus terminal that will carry his name after today. So ladies and gentlemen, Archbishop Granville Williams have rose 
and risen to iconic status through various aspects of community life, as I said before, and would like to list them as I close. In community life, religion, culture, community-oriented events, indeed, he was a stalwart in the efforts of being a volunteer, what it means for black empowerment and community participation. As we continue to mourn the loss of such a man that has left with us a legacy, a man who is a role model, a community leader, dare I say a global leader, I believe that it is only fitting that we fulfill the promise made by our Prime Minister, the Honorable Mia Amor Motley QC MP, made in 2020, that we rename this bus terminal at this point in time. We in this government intend to honor the legacy of Archbishop Granville Williams, and today we shall do so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all that is left for me to do on the behalf of the constituency of the city of Bridgetown and the government of Barbados is to tell you welcome and I thank you.